What's up YouTube, Tech and Tweaks back again with another video. Today I'm going to take a look at a couple more jailbreak tweaks that you can put on your device today. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, so this first tweak that I have for you is called Reach Info, and basically what it does is it adds a little bit more functionality to your reachability. So if you go ahead and invoke reachability, you can see I now have a clock there with two astronauts. You can also go ahead and adjust that. So let's go ahead and do the clock. We'll tap apply, respring the device. So just a very simple clock for the clock feature. All right, so for in the settings of this tweak, you can see that you can go ahead and customize the height, so where the positioning is. For the clock, I prefer the two astronauts. I'm sure that there will probably be a little bit more options coming in the future from this developer. But for any of you guys that use reachability on those bigger iPhones, this could be kind of useful. Just a super quick, simple tweak called Reach Info. If you take a look at my lock screen, you can see that I have the old slide to unlock method from iOS 6 with the sounds. So that is thanks to a tweak called 6LS. It has a couple options to enable. You can go ahead and customize the lock sound, the charging sound, enable them, disable them. You can adjust the text to say slide to unlock, wallpaper shadow, charging view. There's a bunch of different little settings that you can configure, but if you are going for the older iOS 6 look, you know, some of you guys don't like this look. I kind of been rocking it for a week or two. I am going to go back to the more modern look though. It was a fun, nostalgic tweak to install. Camera actually works too, if you go ahead and swipe that up. The tweak is extremely stable, haven't had any issues with it, but it's just a cool little tweak for you guys that want to actually have an older look to your iPhone. I will be showing some icons later on in this video that will go good with this lock screen. But anyways guys, that one is called 6LS. The next tweak that I have for you guys is called Latest, or Lettuce, Lettuce, Lock latest i believe anyways what it allows you to do is allows you to customize your keyboard so as you can see i have a blacked out keyboard with cyan keys even when i tap the key you can see that there is a hint of cyan to black i think it just looks a lot more stealthy and you can really customize the keyboard to whatever theme you are trying to achieve so if we go ahead and jump over to the settings of this tweak right here latest so there's a couple options down here to configure. You can go ahead and make it an image. So if you wanna set a custom background image for your keyboard, you can go ahead and do that. I prefer colorizing it myself. So I have just made it black and cyan. I think it looks extremely stealthy. There's also a little test your keyboard right here so you can see it in real time or what your keyboard is going to look like. But anyways, guys, this will help you guys theme your device to whatever you're trying to achieve. It is a free tweak and it has been working extremely well, extremely stable. So go ahead and check it out. This next one that I have for you guys is called Quick Connect. And all this does is add pinheads basically to your system. So if we go over to my app switcher, you can see I have two contacts there. If I tap on them, I have the option to call SMS or WhatsApp. You can also adjust this for the lock screen. So let me go ahead and disable this lock screen because it will not work with 6LS. Back on the lock screen, you can see that the camera button has been replaced by the phone button. Now those two contacts appear right there so that I can just go ahead and call them immediately. So if we jump into the settings of this tweak, you can go ahead and adjust which contacts you want in the switcher and which ones you want on the lock screen. I'm not gonna actually tap on this because it will show their numbers if I do. However, there is options to either put the contacts at the top or the bottom of the switcher. But this is just a simple quick tweak to allow pinheads pretty much system-wide. For these last tweaks that I'm gonna show off, it is the live wallpaper that you're seeing. For those of you that had Android back in the day, this is the old Nexus One wallpaper. I'm surprised it actually works on iOS 13. But if you go over to Zen HTML, you can go ahead and see that the wallpaper is called iNexus. Basically, the only purpose is to be a live wallpaper from the Nexus One days. Brings back a lot of memories because I used to be into Android a lot. I would always have a rooted Android device and put stock Android on it. 
I'm also going to show you guys what icons I'm using. So these are called ABZZ Dark. And basically it's just a spray paint version of each app icon. There is a surprising amount of supported icons. But anytime you have any notification, it'll just have a little dot of spray paint. But I think that this icon set looks really good. I know it doesn't go well with the wallpaper that I'm running, but this icon set can match well with a bunch of different other wallpapers. So another good icon set to go with that 6LS lock screen tweak would be Modern 6 Icons. This is what it looks like. It looks exactly like the older iOS 6 icons. So if you're into that type of theme, you can go ahead over to Snowboard and enable the theme called Modern 6. Real quick, for those of you that have been asking who won the giveaway, it was a commenter named Cody Stockwell. I have sent him his AirPods Pro and I will be putting an updated post when he receives them. I told him to go ahead and send me a picture so that I can show you guys he really did get them. If you guys didn't win this giveaway, go ahead and stay tuned to the channel because I plan on doing more giveaways. But anyways guys, with that being said, go ahead and feed that YouTube algorithm those like buttons. Go ahead and leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.